Hey everyone, welcome to my channel, The Stock Analyst. So another video on ticker symbol triple BY, which is for Bed, Bath and Beyond. And today the stock was up 23%, another big, big day. And you know, if you're following this particular channel, we have been covering triple BY for last few days. There was another video, I think uh, on Friday and also the prior video, which was on seven days before August 8th, the price was around 11.41. And we have been making money with this particular stock. And hopefully you are also making money with this particular stock. Because if you look at the chart, how beautiful is it for last five days from 9.3 all the way to 16, right? So very, very beautiful. And today at one point, it even went over $16. So anyway, in this particular video, I'm going to talk about the support, resistance, short interest, option chain activity. So hopefully it will give you some information to make more money. And if you find the video useful, please hit the like button and subscribe my channel. Also, I have a Patreon community. You can join my community. The link will be in the first comment, also in the description box. So triple BY. So over our community, we are playing this in few ways. Some people are playing with options. Some people are just buying and holding. They're swinging it. And also there are some day traders, right? So for the day traders today, like when I came on my Discord that, okay, what is the plan? You can see that the triple BY, our first entry was 13.9 and the next entry was 12.7. Our price target was 15.5 and 17.4. And you can see how that 13.9 worked out. So you can see that this particular line, which was the pre-market high, right? At first, the pre-market here, then it was a support 13.9. So that was a better entry and the other one was 12.7. So once the market opened, it came down, it broke 13.9, 13.4 and bounced from there. So again, it went over. So we have entered here all the way to 13.9, all the way to 17. Nice, nice, big, big day. We also played ticker symbol V U R U Viru. This is another one. We are playing this for some time, another big winner. So anyway, I will come back to the price action. I will show you the support resistance, but few other things. If you look at the volume today, the volume was today 163 million compared to average volume of 35 million. And if you see day by day volume, see the volume here. So last week, Monday, the volume was there, but the volume was dying. The Friday volume increased 80 million. And today the volume 163 million. So comparing last Friday, the volume doubled today, right? And also compared to last Monday, the volume is even more. Very, very exciting. I'm going to talk about the option chain activity for sure. But before that, I just want to show you something on Ortex. So if you look at the Ortex short interest, it is 48.5%. And if you look at the chart, you look at the blue line here. Maybe I'll just uh, turn the other things off. Um, yeah, just look at the short interest. 45%, 46%, 46, 44, 46, 44, 46, 47, 48%. So the shorts are maybe they are even shorting it even more <laughs> because the short interest of uh, the free float is still very, very high, right? Also, the cost to borrow rate is 77%, which is also very, very high. If you go to Fintel, you can see that it is 41% and dark pool 48%. And currently, there is no shares available to short, which is really a nice thing. So everything is happening for a short squeeze play, right? Everything is happening for a short squeeze play. Now, let's see how things are happening. So today, like when it came down, the pre-market support was around 14.8 it was having some kind of resistance the blue line right around 14.8 then suddenly it broke the resistance and you see people were waiting so when they saw there are lots of power volume came in so it just pushed all the way to 17 came down but the good thing is if you look at the chart the pre-market top of 15.6 or 15.7 became the new support so when a resistance become new support, it is really, really good for the stock because it is going up nicely. It's not like a squeeze one big line upward. The next few days, it just comes down. So if you look at BBY, because this thing is on a rise for last few days, but you can see that it was holding $10 for some time. Then it went over 12.7. It held and it went over. It held 13.9. Then it made 15.7. So it is making higher base, right? It's going up stairs step by step it's not like you're jumping 10 steps then you're getting duty fall right so it's going faster so the next leg would be if it can go over 17 and then it can go over now i want to go back 
30 minute chat i want to show you how this thing is looking right so we were thinking about some kind of resistance right around 15.5 which was pre-market resistance right 15.5 why 15.5 because you see uh, support here support here support here so the price came down so those support 15.5 became a new resistance so the good thing is we went over and trying to make this as a new support in that case if we push i think we can push back all the way to 17 17.4 again why because you can see some kind of rejection once we break break 17.4 I think we might start thinking going back all the way to 20 and I will show you why um, we are thinking about 17 18 20 prices so this is the 20 area and once 20 is over then you can just go back 25 26 something do not forget this is actually stock when the short squeeze mania was there this thing went all the way all the way to 39 40 dollars this is such a stock but on a daily if you see the price was long time around 14 17 18 this was the area and before that that was the base 24 25 dollar right so this is stock had lots of potential to go there i see that if it can maintain 15.7 it can go to 17.4 then 20 24 25 who knows but maybe 20 is realistic and if something is squeezing you never know how far they can go but look at the volume day by day each day the volume is coming back very very exciting now let's talk about option chain activity now if you look at this friday option chain activity this friday there were lots of call option at 15 strike like 58,000 volume, 17,000 open interest. So lots of volume, lots of trades happening, right? So as long as the price is over $15, these call options will be in the money, they will be exercised, right? I'm also looking a nice concentration around 20 strike price, where 48,000 is the volume and 17,000 is the open interest. So look, I don't know if it can go to 20 but i see a long concentration and when people talk about gamma squeeze then you need high short interest you need uh, lots of out of the money call option you need lots of volume things are working right so i'm not saying it might go to 20 this week but keep an eye okay also if you look at call versus put um, it's almost like double right 154 is the put volume call is 356 in terms of the open interest though the difference is less right so there are still lots of put option around 10 around 12 right and if i go one more week after 19th if i go to 26th of august still i see some kind of volume around 15 so 15 is one important area then we have 20 so we will see so anyway if you find this video useful hit the like button subscribe my channel also join my community just nine dollar per month you can become a patron get access to my discord so that each morning you will get this kind of alert with entry exit i also come live i talk about plays i share chart we have lots of experienced traders they bring plays so as a community we are evolving we are growing and making money Anyway, uh, hit the like button, subscribe my channel, and thank you again for watching this particular video. Take care and peace.